Hey everyone, and welcome back. Today, we're diving into a crucial aspect of website design, the mobile experience. How often do you use your computer to browse the web? Chances are, your phone is your go-to device for checking something online. So, ensuring your website looks fantastic and functions flawlessly on smaller screens is essential. If your website isn't mobile friendly, users will likely get frustrated with tiny text, unclickable buttons, and elements all jumbled together. Thankfully, as always, Odoo has your back. Let's take a look. Now, the first thing we'll do is check what our website looks like on a mobile device. I can easily do that by clicking on the mobile phone icon over here. And this is what our website looks like in a mobile view. Now, we notice that our main menu is what we call a burger menu over here. That's because on desktops, traditional horizontal menus work well, but on mobiles, they can take up valuable space. So Odoo uses a vertical menu, easily accessible yet unobtrusive on smaller screens. Now, an important element to know is that Odoo's website builder uses a powerful framework called Bootstrap, which automatically takes care of a lot of the mobile optimization for you. Bootstrap uses a system of grids and columns, allowing, allowing elements on your website to stack neatly on top of each other when viewed on a mobile device. And talking about columns, you can control the number of columns displayed for different screen sizes. For example, over here on desktop, we have a layout with two columns side by side. But when we go to mobile, we see that they are stacked one on top of each other. But we can still choose to display those elements in various columns if we want to. For example, if I click on edit and I select this layout, over here I can select how many columns I want to display on mobile if I put two then we see that they are display, displayed in two columns. And that looks good to me, so I'll save. Now, there are some elements that you may not want users to see on their mobile device. For example, I'm not sure I actually want visitors to see this video on mobile, as it takes up a lot of space. Now, that's where the conditional visibility feature comes in handy. So if I select this block, I can find the visibility option over here. Now, if I set it as conditionally, then I have various options over here that allow me to, uh, to, to decide whether a block is being displayed or not. And I can also base the visibility on whether it's being viewed on desktop or mobile device. So over here, I will click on this icon, the mobile, and that means it will not be shown on mobile devices. See, but it will be shown on desktop. Now, of course, on mobile now, uh, we are missing a welcome block. So I will add a block for this. I will add a cover block. And if I drag it here on top of it, uh, I can customize my block however I want, but what I'd really like to do is change the visibility. So like the other block, I will put it as conditionally, and instead of choosing the mobile icon here, I will choose the desktop icon, which means that it will not be shown on desktop. So now we see it on mobile. If I go back to desktop, we do not see it, but we see the other one that uh, we set as not visible on mobile. Now, the last thing I want to show is that if you have a shape on your block, like over here, for example, there's this blue background shape, and you don't want that shape to appear on mobile, you actually don't need to hide the entire uh, block and create a new one without the shape. You can just click on the little, so if you select the block, sorry, we can uh, click on the little mobile here next to the shape, and then the shape disappears. If I click on it again, it appears. If I click on it, it disappears. And then if I go to desktop, the shape is still here. And now you know how to create a website that functions flawlessly across all devices, ensuring a smooth experience for your visitors, no matter how they choose to access your website. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.